The year is 2666. It has been roughly 700 years since the cataclysmic event destroyed the old world. In the centuries since, new cultures, faiths, and peoples have rebuilt civilization in the ruins of the old. For many, the technology and wonders of the past have slowly faded from legend into myth and eventually to dust. As rust and time have eroded the old world that was, ingenuity of the past fades into oblivion. Though most today care little for the old world, there exist some who invest their lives in attempting to restore or at least recreate the world as it once was in that glorious gilded age of yesteryear. They are the industrialists. Heavily inspired by the setting's overall inspiration, A Canticle for Leibowitz, the industrialists are themselves a combination of their reverence for technology as seen in Fallout's Brotherhood of Steel, mixed with the Fortean worship of Aldous Huxley's Brave New World planted in a post-post-apocalyptic neo-feudalist Rust Belt society. Now before we begin properly, I do want to stress that everything here is pulled either from the mod itself or the wiki. I'm not trying to make anything up, it's just that there's not as far as I can tell an after the end war primer, a la Gutherja or Ambinar, so I had to piece together what I could find in these two sources and infer the rest. If you at any point think I got something wrong or missed an important detail, then please feel free to comment. Now back to the industrialists. Industrialists believe that before the event, humanity lived in a period of prosperity referred to as the Gilded Age, which was a time when industry with a capital I was at its peak, society working for the betterment of humanity and the advancement of its great works, a time when anyone could ascend to that of the Titans, a godlike being of great industry, or at the very least live a comfortable life of prosperity. But such comfort birthed content and complacency in the populace, and soon the effort and skill needed to maintain such a glorious society faded. With this came the Great Rusting, which brought the end to the Gilded Age and the world as we know it today came to be. Though many relics of that glorious past are still unearthed by pilgrims and practitioners of the faith, even the most learned of industrialist engineers can often but guess at their purpose. The central deity of the industrialist faith is industry, as I hinted previously, which is one of the natural forces of the world. Forces which, according to industrialists, have existed since the beginning of time. They are life, curiosity, community, beauty, and of course, industry. Though the former forces remain an ever-present aspect of existence, industry is something that can be changed refined, capable of giving its power to humanity and elevating select individuals to the height of godhood. These are titans, but to achieve such heights, proper diligence and rituals must be upheld, lest industry rust and fade with entropy. In order to receive its divine blessing, prosperity and comfort, society must take great care to both appease and maintain industry with or without the guidance of a titan. Titans can be anyone, man, woman, or otherwise, from stations both high and low, their birth, sex, and race are unimportant. For industry, all that matters is an unwavering dedication to human advancement and the betterment of society. Titans of old are revered and provide inspiration and guidance for followers of industry to this day and are an important part of their faith as we will discuss shortly. At present, there are five different sects of the industrialist faith and after the end. The Galvanizing Assembly, Promethean Cults, School of Sustained Glory, Innovatorist Movement, and the United Arsenals of America. In this next section, I will discuss at length each of these sects so you can not only better understand their beliefs, but also their locations and history to the best of my current ability. Practitioners of the largest of these faiths, the Galvanizing Assembly, or more commonly Galvanists, are located primarily in the Great Lakes regions of Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, and Allegheny. Quick aside for those curious, galvanization is the process of applying a zinc coating to steel to prevent rusting. Essentially, their faith is the zinc to galvanize one's resolve, or soul, if you will. These individuals worship the force of industry, the religious leaders called engineers, responsible for maintaining their religious text, the Codex of Regulations, with the aim to reconstruct the Gilded Age of old. They seek to both emulate and revere the Titans, and in fact, the worship of such figures is of high importance to their society. They are led by divine will to unravel the mysteries of the old and to confer with the wisest among them as to their former function and purpose. These discoveries are shared at great assemblies of the religious order, which are conveniently also known as the assembly. These are presided over by a chief engineer, a position whose history spans back to the early 25th century, who acts as a moderator of the assembly without any definitive power over it. The aim of the assembly is to encourage conversation and discourse to further advance the goals and aspirations of the collective faith. Think of this as the orthodoxy of the industrialist religion. The Codex of Regulations is compiled by centuries of engineering texts, broken up into five parts, the regulations themselves, commentaries, and three appendices. The regulations are the word and teaching of the titans themselves, or occasionally divine industry. These are always written in blood-red ink to distinguish them from normal text. The commentaries are teachings or insight gained from various meetings of the assembly over the centuries. 
The first of the appendices contains stories and insight of various engineers, although not often or always rather religious. The second appendices, the marvels of industry or schematics of the old world and assertions by the highest ranking engineers as to their potential purposes. And the final appendice contains the story of the Titans and their journeys to godhood. The forces of industry or the pantheon of Galvanist gods is broken up into good and evil, though many of its Titans are not yet featured in the game, so I won't mention them at length. However, the ones you can worship by joining their holy union, I will. And they are Union of the Protector, which is dedicated to the Titan god Osha, which adds plus 0.5 health and plus 5 popular opinion. Union of Libraries, which is dedicated to the Titan Carnegie, which adds plus 2 learning and plus 5% lifestyle experience. Union of Prosperity, dedicated to the Titan Rockefeller, which adds plus 2 to stewardship, plus 5 to domain tax, but minus 5 to popular opinion. Union of Steel Drivers, dedicated to the Titan John Henry, which adds plus 4 to prowess, and plus 5 to faith hostility advantage. And Union of Songsmiths, dedicated to the Titan Hill, which adds plus 10 popular opinion and plus 5 general opinion. Additionally, most industrials see the structures of foreign faiths as an affront to industry, and though they work to preserve most architecture of the old world if they are of great make and form, they are known to destroy and tear down holy sites of the old world to reuse the raw materials found within. Galvanists are no exception to this. The holy sites of the Galvanists are Albany, Detroit, Pittsburgh, Chicago, Cleveland, and Toronto. Sites all of them of many great works in times long past. As another quick aside, I don't know what all is planned for this faith, but the University of Pittsburgh's most recognizable structure is literally called the Cathedral of Learning, and I think it would be incredible if this was integrated as the main theocratic building of the Galvanist faith, considering its importance to the evidently holy city, if it still stands. Regardless, seeing as this is the orthodoxy of the industrialist faith, the other faiths we will be discussing are going to be naturally variations on Galvanism ideals, although each considers the other hostile, and many are in fact completely different, aside from the core belief in the forces of nature and industry. Based in western Michigan and northern Ontario, the second largest current industrialist sect is the Promethean cults, who believe that prior to the chaos of the rusting, that which ended the Gilded Age, the Titan Kings ruled and that every realm had their own personal force of industry, with its Titan King acting as guardian of these individual forces. With the rise of Galvanism, the Promethean cults all but faded, as the idea of individual realm gods was widely considered antithetical to the collective Galvanist Titan belief system. Yet some believers remain, holding onto the hope that a Titan King will rise and return order and industry to this rusted world. World. Naturally, those who seek power are valued within this society, as only the strongest among them may dream of becoming a Titan King. Likewise, they are known to be great salvagers, hunting for treasures of the past to strengthen their cause and their people. Interestingly, the Titans the Promethean cults claim their kings descend from differ significantly from the Galvanist faith. For example, the Titan Roosevelt takes place of the wealth god Rockefeller in the Galvanist faith, or the Titan Eisenhower takes place of the war god John Henry in the Galvanist faith. Though the principal act of their worship seems to be largely similar insofar as I can tell. The holy sites of the Promethean cults are Detroit, Milwaukee, Chicago, Cleveland, and Toronto, but notably not Pittsburgh, as evidently, as far as I can tell, they see it as a den of the Galvanist religion and perhaps a false realm of corrupted industry. Located in the Allegheny Mountains of central Pennsylvania, the smallest active industrial sect is the School of Sustained Glory, who do not worship titans but instead the natural forces to include rust which they see as the deity of death. Unlike Galvanism, sustainabilists believe that the advancement of industry is done at the expense of the other natural forces. They see life not as a struggle to push industry to its heights and achieve godhood, but rather as a balancing act humanity must work to maintain. They value natural harmony above all else and enjoy writing of her wonders and sharing it with the others of their faith. Their holy sites are Boston, Toronto, Chicago, Blair Mountain, which is in West Virginia, Memphis, and Syracuse. These final two sects don't actually exist in the game at the time of the 266 start, but they are very interesting to discuss as they can, so I've seen be formed in game by the player or AI, and they do tend to differ pretty significantly, at least the last one does, from the other sects. The first of these, the Innovatorist movement, or Innovatorists, have similar beliefs to the Galvanizing Assembly, but where the Galvanists seek to rebuild the world of old, Innovatorists see this as a mistake and wish to make something totally new, believing that if godhood is to be restored, boundaries must be pushed to their absolute limit and experimentation made for the sake of progress. The old world was a failure. Those who wish to form the next Gilded Age must do so with their own innovations. One cannot cling to the past, but rather should use its failings as guidelines on what to improve on and make better. Innovators hold that anyone who lives statically or contently is living a life of sin. One must constantly have new goals and new horizons, or they will fall to rest. Likewise, with such ambitious goals, they hold freedom to the absolute highest degree as the most sacred of virtues, for how else will one find innovation and advancement if they are not given total liberty to explore its boundless potential? Their holy sites are Detroit, 
Toronto, Chicago, Manhattan, Promontory Summit, which is usually associated with the Mormon faith in Utah. I'm not sure why this is one of theirs, but that's interesting. And Cleveland. The final sect of the industrialist faith is the United Arsenals of America, and perhaps the most unique among these in that they seem to worship both industry and the former United States of America. They believe that Americans were the chosen people of industry, and that it was their responsibility to use this gift to free the peoples of the world from the rusted tyrants. They seek to restore industry under the guiding principles of American law, which they see as absolute and indivisibly true. They also value the right of the volunteer, that any within their ranks should step up to defend her people are noble and praiseworthy. And though they hold the laws of old America as divine, the divinity of its founders remains up to debate, although I'm sure with enough persuasion they could be convinced, as many of the titan gods are presidents in some of the industrialist six or former presidents rather the holy sites of the united arsenals of america are detroit dc chicago manhattan pittsburgh and cleveland and that's really all i have for this video i was unable to find much on the discord though through my cursory searches but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist i probably just didn't look hard enough i did find some cool murals about industrialists fighting a dragon across the sea i'm not going to share that here it was somebody else's ai art but still it looked really cool still for what we have i have formed a deep appreciation for this particular group considering i myself live in the region they inhabit and have worked in industry, I guess, as my father did before me, though I do so no longer. So I guess I have a bit of a sentimental attachment, which some would view as a sort of favoritism, and they'd probably be correct. But truthfully, I know so little about this world, it's hard for me to say right now what I love and what I don't. I just know I like the industrialists. Also, before anyone asks, I have no idea if I'll make more of these. I just wanted to do this one because I really enjoyed the video I made as the industrialist a couple weeks ago. But if the devs in particular like this video, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. I tried to do so a couple weeks ago on yours, but I guess I got buried in the mass. I'd love to discuss doing a broader, this is after the end style video like I did for God Herger with you if you're interested. But that's it for this one. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this sort of video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe as it lets me and YouTube know that you like this sort of content and you'd like to see more of it. If you would like to support the channel, you can consider becoming a channel member. We have two tiers in the join tab. We have squires and knights. So these are our members. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. If there's anybody new who was not included on this, I apologize. I make my videos very far in advance. I will be sure to include you in the description. And if I don't, remind me, okay? And that's it for me. I'm Sol. This has been the Industrialists, the Faith of Steel, and I will happily see you in the next one.